Welcome to Off Grid Contracting. Guys, welcome to the beginning of a very epic install. I'm very excited about this one. We're getting to put this on a utility van. Um, customer, so glad we got to work for them and so glad that they're allowing us to film it. Um, they're going to do some more modifications to it, add some fans and things, but we've got two 270 watt synthesis modules up here. And I'm going to show you how awesome a lot of people might make fun of the fact that we use um, the, the brackets, the Z-Clip style brackets but you can actually do some amazing things with them. And I wanna show you something right here. And you can see right here that how that the panel actually mounts and it flexes. And I don't know if the sun is blocking it out right there, but you can see the, uh, the go power mount, how that that goes flush into the structure or into the uh, vehicle, I'm sorry. And, um, and I'll show you that in a minute on the mount, but I mean, pretty much the, you know, it flexes really good onto it. And, uh, and I'll show you the final finish here on this later, um, a, a complete overview from the front of the vehicle. But uh, that we'll move on the inside here and, and start working on that here just shortly. All right, guys, now at this point in the install, what we've got, we've got the OTG Midnight 150 board there, um, ready to go. And we've got that mounted. The wire drop comes in through the roof panel. You don't even see it. And then it's hid through the interior and all this is gonna be filled back in so that won't be seen nor the screws. And then that's coming down the wire drop to this board, which the customer will actually pull back off, put their insulation and everything, and that'll go back permanent. And then we've got our wire cables coming here to the battery bank, it's 24 volt. Um, this cable right here is gonna be replaced with a much larger cable. Uh, shipped out to them um, and other than that this this is going to be tucked inverter go there then their charger unit if they want to charge and uh, here very shortly we'll have this finished this is a neat little device right here it's a state of battery charge you can use this on 12 24 volt or 48 volt systems and you know it'll tell you real time tracking where you're at with your system so you don't have to constantly walk to your midnight um, and it's also made by midnight so good quality stuff uh, but anyway, we'll have this buttoned up here shortly, and I'll show you the final finish on it. Guys, right here is a final view of the panels, and as you can see right there, they're on seamed on line with the vehicle itself. And then back here, um, we made certain to silicone everything up very neatly. And now back here is where the customer will actually put their fan units and, and all that cooling system and stuff like that. We done some modification work today um, to accommodate this, so pretty much that's you can see how that's online right there with the the vehicle so i'm just very pleased how that turned out for it. all right guys so we're here at the final finish of the build at this point you can see the panels are suspended above the uh, vehicle and you can see right here that on the front it's not an eyesore because we've got enough visibility of the van that you can just start to barely see the panels at the contour so it keeps it back for the customer away from the, the wind shear, but also gets it the farthest up that where they can still put their fan units that they want to put on it later. Um, we didn't know exactly, you know, what, how they, they kind of wanted that configured. So when we come in with the drop off the roof, we fed that through the channel and then come down because all that's going to be covered. They're actually going to do kind of like a tiny house build inside this. I think it's going to be amazing when they're done with it. But we've got the, the OTG board is going to be hidden. All this will be hidden under cabinetry. So just kind of imagine cabinetry right here and then the flooring also. And so all that can ventilate up and outwards away from everything. So that's good. Plus, if they need to charge their unit, they can actually snake the cable around out the side of the cabinet down the driver door to a generator uh, if they want to and charge their unit on a very bad cloudy day. Here we can see the 24 volt system, uh, battery banks completely hidden under the chair. Over here, the actual vehicle's 12 volt battery system is under the other chair. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. You got 12 on one, 24 on the other. Right there, you can see the midnight battery um, state of charge unit. You can see it's practically at 100%. Uh, the reason that uh, you're not gonna see it at 100% right now is because we did give it a drive earlier. And right here, you can see the inverter quietly charging the customer's DeWalt battery just just for demonstration of uh, proof of concept that it's all working in the system. Now, we left the, the meter actually loose right now, and the reason being is that can actually be mounted up in the cabinetry. We can mount that, you know, wherever you want to, uh, should you have us do a build like this for you. 
Guys, just one last note about this particular unit is that it actually stores the memory of the battery bank. So for example, say this customer turns on their microwave and their refrigerator kicks on the same time, they run their, you know, they turn on their laptop, they're just going nuts with the inverter all of a sudden. That will not jump down real quick and be like, oh, you're at 30 or 40% because there's a huge load on. It actually stores the memory of the battery bank so you keep a real-time track of it. So even though the midnight stays real-time tracking but fluctuates, this will tell you. So even though you use that for you know 30 minutes, let's say, and it cuts off, that won't just teeter-totter back and forth while you're using that. That will actually stay solid because it is stored a residual memory of that. So unlike a lot of these meters that will flip-flop real quickly with you, midnight actually stores the memory of your battery. So it can tell you, hey, I know that you're using something, but you're, it's only because I'm under load at the minute. I'm not going to drop just because I'm under load. Also, if you haven't charged it in two weeks, the thing will go red and let you know. If, uh, if it hasn't received a full charge in one week, it'll, it'll, it'll actually flip over yellow. There's a lot built into that particular control or uh, battery monitor unit than I've seen in other stuff in the field. And for the quality that you're going to get also, from midnight you know you just can't beat it especially with all their equipment the way it is and the warranties and stuff it's really unique piece of equipment just something to keep in mind you can keep real-time tracking even when you're using stuff under a load um, we can do all this in a day's time frame and um, guys that's that's pretty much cut and dried on this install if you have any questions feel free to contact us at offgridcontracting.com and until we see you again I look forward to working for you